Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. Uh, today's gonna be a quick lesson, but it's a feature that I don't think many of us know about. Um, I myself did not know about it till maybe, it was definitely sometime last year. So, uh, you know, I've had my Cricut for three years, let's say, and I didn't really know about it the first two years. So, what you, oh, <laughs> my voice, well, that reminded me. So I was gonna go right into the thing, but if you haven't subscribed, please do. <laughs> that was um, that was on purpose, I guess. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the, the main program. Um, all right, so I feel as if my Cricut, I have a Cricut maker and um, you know, depending on the product you buy, you change brands. I think this is more, I feel like I have a good, um, a good understanding of paper uh, just because I use paper so much. So I can now, I can touch the paper and kind of know, okay, do I go with glitter? Do I go with heavy, medium? You know, I can kind of work my way around paper, but where I still struggle is with, uh, cutting stickers and um, with HTV or with vinyl. Depending on the brand and the type of vinyl, it may change how well my Cricut cuts the material. So this is something that I think, it, it's not gonna help all the time, but it's just, um, it's one of those things where I feel that the more you know, then the better you're off. So you, this might not come into play, but the fact that you know it, and so when you do troubleshoot, you'll have this knowledge for you. All right, so let's look at this. I know a lot of talking, you still have no idea what I'm gonna talk about, right? <laughs> so this is the Make It page. You've gotten this far where you have your project and now you're selecting the type of material so your Cricut knows what to cut. What you wanna do is you can click Browse All Materials and let's hope that my, okay, good, it's not stuck. Okay, so normally, you know, if you, you can save your favorites, here, let me go out of this for a second. These are my favorites. These are the ones that I've selected. I've, I clicked on the star because I use this quite a bit, right? So you can kind of see I'm a, I'm a paper person, right? Like here are all my papers. I do have my HTV. Uh, this is for my shakers, shaker. <laughs> Um, and paper, right? Um, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go to browse all materials. If you don't have it as a favorite and you were gonna go cut something else, like chipboard, for instance, you can only have, I believe it was 10 favorites. So right now I can't add anything, but basically you would just click on this. Um, oh, you can, you can favorite up to 12 materials. I've already selected my 12, so I would need to unselect the one from a previous from the previous page, and then now select the new one. So all you do is you hover over the star, select it, you know, left click, and it will now be under your favorites. But what I'm about to show you is here. I don't, I never noticed it. I don't know why, but all the way at the bottom on the left hand side is material settings. So when you select this, what it does is it tells you what your what your settings are currently. So for instance, if I choose acetate, the cut pressure is 319, it cuts two times, and it cuts with a fine point blade. You can edit this, you can change it, but I don't change any of these settings. What I use it for is now that I know Let's say I'm cutting acetate, right? And my acetate paper is a little bit thicker um, than another one. So when I look at this, I know at 319, for instance, it didn't cut through all the way. So I'm gonna look for a material that is more than 319. So maybe next time, every time I go to acetate, I'm gonna cut on basswood. Um, or, or is it basswood? Basswood. <laughs> I shouldn't have picked that one. I'm really bad at pronouncing words. Um, okay, sorry, let me go back here. So acetate is 319, right? Let's say, oh, this I can pronounce, birch. <laughs> Permanent adhesive. So for me, I know that the pressure is 350, um, although this cuts two times. So it's just like a knowledge of, like when I'm cutting glitter cardstock, for instance, and I know this glitter cardstock is chunky. It's even chunkier than your normal glitter cardstock. Then I know by selecting glitter cardstock, it's not gonna work for me. So for instance, I'm gonna go down here. 
Um, and we're getting there, sorry. So it cuts glitter cardstock at 263. So maybe I wanna click on gel sheet or something. Oh no, but that cuts four times. But do you see what I mean? I don't wanna, I don't wanna necessarily change, edit these, because for me, it's better to know this is how my Cricut always functions. Okay, so when I select this one, I have a feeling of how it cuts. So for me, it's a lot easier to kind of just get to know my, my Cricut as opposed to changing my settings and then always going back to change my settings. I feel like this is what it is. So I don't mess with the settings because I don't want to forget to like, uh, you know, my memory is so bad in a sense that like, did I change it to match this paper brand or this paper brand? So now I just know this is how it cuts. So do I want more pressure, less pressure? And that's when I'm going to go and I'm going to look through all my stuff. Oh, wow. I, you know, I guess it makes sense that it can cut grow grain ribbon, but I didn't really think about that. Um, it tells you what kind of blade. So for me, this is helpful for when, like I said, when I'm cutting, um, a lot of times when I'm cutting vinyl and HTV, and that's because I use the different brands. And so for instance, I, you know, I love poly tape, right? Poly tapes, uh, heat transfer vinyl is thinner than crickets. So, uh, you know, a lot of times I do have that hack where I want to cut through the carrier sheet, but most times I don't want it. So I need to go with less pressure. So your default is you can always select the material plus less pressure, but sometimes even when that cuts through, then you kind of get to know, okay, maybe I really need to just select a different material at a much lower pressure. So, um, so this has been super helpful for me. Um, also when I'm cutting stickers, because sometimes I, I want it to cut all the way through the paper so that it's an individual sticker. But if I'm doing a whole sheet of paper, I want to cut through just that first sticker paper so that I can pull off my sticker paper and I would have my nine stickers on the piece of paper and that way it's easy to peel off. So there's all these different times when you're going to want a different pressure depending on what kind of cut you want. So this is super, super helpful. And, um, I don't know, let me know how you guys use it, but it's also nice to know like the, what everything is set to, what Cricut established as the norm. And so it's sort of just, you know, for me, it's the more you know the machine, the more um, you understand how it works, then it's easier for you to go to your little knowledge bank and figure out what you need to do when things are not your norm, right? Like when I'm cutting a new material, do I need to, I start to feel things like, is it thicker than glitter cardstock? Is it thinner? And I start to kind of balance, um, kind of in my head, like where does it fall? And then making sure that I have the right cut. I hate, I mean, people say do test cuts. This is sort of like a test cut because you can do a test cut and it doesn't work. You're still troubleshooting, right? So this is just another layer, another, um, I don't know, like another check mark to give you a more well-educated guess because now you've narrowed down like what, what the thickness is, what you think it falls under, and it gives you like a range of pressure that you would want then, as opposed to just kind of like, I'm gonna try it. Oh, no, it didn't work. Um, now I'm gonna try this one, right? This just gives you another, um, a more educated guess. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I like knowing this, this thing, but I would love to know how you guys use it. So please in the comments, if this helps you or when it works for you, then that will help me explain it. you know, in the future, as I incorporate this into that, make it screen and talk about it for future projects. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. I will talk to you guys next time.